My name's Jan Bender. I grew up in southern Indiana, uh, working on my family's grain farm. Um, came from a small town of 1,500 people, Poseyville, Indiana. I guess I, I joined the Marine Corps to gain structure and discipline and um, to change myself. Another big part of my decision for, for joining the Marine Corps, growing up, my grandfathers both served in World War II and the Korea era, and they both had a, a presence about them. My first duty station um, after I was trained as a combat correspondent was Japan, Iwakuni, Japan. I was on an air wing there, and uh, I wrote for the base paper. And at the same time, U.S. forces were sitting on the border of Kuwait and Iraq, ready to push through the entire country. And I was sitting there on a couch in the same uniform they were in the barracks, looking at them brokenhearted, because the reason I had uh, joined the Marine Corps and and uh, gone through all the training that I had was to, to be a part of that, you know. Then I was pushed out with the 1st Marine Division and while I was in country, I was attached to what they call Regimental Combat Team 1. It was a very turbulent time to be in country. That was, I got there just months before we pushed through Fallujah and I was at a fire team level with the 3rd Battalion, 1st Marines, India Company um, on the push through the city, so. It was by far the most exciting and uh, intense thing that I got to see while I was in uniform. I uh, had a video camera put in my hand and that's where I kind of fell in love with digital means of telling a story. You know, being able to capture that and, and share with people not only how you see the world, but things that sometimes can't be conveyed through writing. people were a lot different than, than me and so when I sat down to tell their stories I was always genuinely interested in who they were and where they came from and uh, the stories they had to tell not only their experiences in uniform but how they got to that point you know I guess it really uh, opened my eyes to how beautiful people can be and, and how much different people have to offer if you just let them do that well I got out of the Marine Corps uh, spent a year back on the farm with my working for my dad uh, and then went off to college, and I went to Ball State University to study telecommunications. Made it to my junior year, and I was looking for an internship. Through a series of connections, was put in touch with the producers for In Their Boots, um, and things kind of evolved. Well, I'm excited about hosting In Their Boots. Uh, I think it has an awesome potential to help a lot of people, to make a serious impact, and I hope from that an array of lives are changed. I think new media is a revolutionary way of bringing people together uh, around the globe and around the country to uh, unite around one issue and, and gain an understanding. I think there's a plethora of stories. I don't, I don't know if we'll ever dry up um, on things to talk about and interesting people to meet. So I'm excited um, for not only the awareness that it will spread, but hopefully the unity that it will bring to the audience that they might understand one another.